Jameer has a little faith in the men who work for him. He oversees their work himself. I will turn this to my advantage. He, he'll be too preoccupied to notice my approach. The beams above the Souk's central courtyard may provide useful point of entry, if I can find a way to access them. Alright, so this is just basically a map of uh, how to get in there and access things. Cool to have. Once I've alerted the guards to my presence, it might be nice to have a man or two on my side. They've they'd provide a welcome distraction, buying me time to escape. I should seek out such men, befriend them, uh, turn them to my cause. So this is uh, talking about a path I can go where people will be on my side, which I believe is the uh, people we've saved on the street? Not quite sure on that one. It appears the Souks northeastern rooftops provide easy access to the central courtyard. And another nice little map thing showing us how to get into the central courtyard there. All right. With that out of the way, let's get to the uh, Assassin Bureau. I can't hide. I just want to stand here forever. All right. Fine. I'll hide. I figured with them completely occupied by the people down on the ground, it wouldn't matter, but apparently it still does. All right. Time to get into this bureau which was nice and locked up. Hey everyone, I'm back. Ish. It is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I'm sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Normally the assassins actually got an individual dagger per um, kill that they were going to make. There were actually some kills that were done by multiple assassins with multiple daggers that they would uh, all thrust into their target at the same time. Really proves a point, especially because they like to do it in front of people. Anyway, let's check out um, what we just got here in our memory log. Tamir is meeting his merchants when within the Souk al Salah today to discuss a most important sale. Being insecure as he is, he'll be entirely focused on his work, ignoring all else around him. Approaching him at this point is the wisest course of action. This is when I'll strike. Alright. Time for an actual assassination.
which is um, a good distance away, but we can clear this distance pretty quickly. Especially if we grab onto things, that that would be nice. I was uh, I was thinking we were actually going to grab onto something, but apparently not. Excuse me. All right. Let's get back up to where we were uh, at a few seconds ago. Of course there's a reason for me to do this. You just don't need to know about it. Alright, so that is uh, a nice little entrance to there if I can uh, get onto that and just kind of jump around over there. But honestly, I don't care too much about... Um, trying to be too secretive when getting into most of these places, so I'll just head down through here instead. or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No! Stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Excuse me, bitch, but you are kind of in my way. Good night, my friend. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then. Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child.
Alright, so now we need to uh, get back to the Bureau while anonymous to complete our mission. But basically everyone on the street is going to be pissed off at us, so it'll be fine. Right? Just fine. See you guys later. I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. You guys have nothing on my running. Wee. Hi. See you later. Ish. Maybe I won't see you later. I'm just gonna jump on your head. It's cool. Sometimes you try and run up a wall and it just doesn't want to cooperate with you. Bit of a pain in the ass. Aw, oh, come on, grab onto that thing. Just trying to get a little closer before I actually duck into something. That would be nice is uh, if he had just swung across there instead of hanging on to that and pulling up. But you know, what can you do? Good enough. Let's get back into that bureau. Let's see, I don't remember if you get the memory... Okay, you get the memory after you uh, talk to this guy. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq. I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malib. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. All right, now we can check our memory log here real quick. Tamir spoke of others, brothers he called them, and said that soon I'd come to know them well. Stranger still, he seems to know the assassins, and referred to Al-Mualim directly. I'd best speak to the master about this. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. That blinking pin is awesome. You sure I can't have one of those? I think it would be awesome to carry around. It would make me feel better about being here. Maybe I can just uh, go outside for... Oh, just a little walk or something. That would be cool. Desmond's got to have his walkies. How's it going? So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked! Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Anything else to say to me, Lucy? Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. 
The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Aw, oh, come on, it could be fun. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? Or what goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Leading our way. Aren't you tired? No, I'm apparently going to be looking at a computer. This computer? Sure, why not? So this is uh, Lucy's inbox here. She apparently has uh, three mails. Something from uh, Warren Vidic about Layla. I think that's uh, who they were talking about earlier that Lucy didn't want to end up as. You said wind up like Layla earlier. What did you mean, Lucy? Nothing. Get back to work, please. Pliss. <laughs> we have a deadline. P.S. Why do you sign your emails? It says right up top who it's coming from. Because it sounds more professional, you idiot. <sighs> you can't even write with full words either. All right. So we've got uh, administration classified information here. As a general reminder, all employees of Abstergo Industries are prohibited from discussing corporate policy proceedings and projects. In light of pending litigation, you are all reminded of Section 215 of your employment contracts. You acknowledge and agree that Abstergo has developed such confidential information by the investment of significant time, effort, and expense, and that such confidential information provides Abstergo with a significant competitive advantage in its business. You acknowledge and agree that a breach of this agreement by you will therefore result in irreparable harm to Abstergo, the extent of which would be difficult to ascertain, and in any event, money damages will be inadequate as a remedy uh, in the event of such a breach. Accordingly, you agree that in the event of a breach of this agreement by you, Abstergo shall be entitled to injunctive or other equitable relief, as the court deems appropriate, in addition to any other remedies which it may have available. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your human resource manager. We thank you in advance for your compliance. It's interesting how they capitalize you throughout this entire uh, 215 section here. They want to make sure they uh, provide to you the information that it's all about you and is targeting you. <laughs> all right. Warren, found your access key pin again. Oh, it's an access key. Today, out by the parking lot, you really need to start keeping it in your pocket instead of letting it hang off your coat. Try and take better care of your things, Warren. Imagine if security had found it. They'd have shut us down for at least a day to reprogram all the computer access codes. Lucy. Great. Leave it at my desk. Worry less about my things and more about making Animus work. Thanks. What a douchebag. Nothing in her outbox, nothing deleted. Nothing upon nothing. So. I saw him leave with a pin, but is there, uh... There's another one here, maybe? No? Okay. 
Well, uh, good to know that at the very least this guy is forgetful about his code pin. Is that blinking? Can I, can I do something with that? No? Looked like it might be a message or something. But, anyhow, perhaps, uh, that guy will leave his code pin around if he's done it before. We got anything going on over here? It's a very shiny server boxes. I don't think I've ever seen a, uh, a server box with a glass window in front of it. I guess it makes it a lot more viewable and looks pretty unique and nice, but I don't see anything good beyond that. There is some kind of coolant coming down over this. Maybe the uh, the glass helps to keep it in there. I don't know. You gonna say anything different about your clothing today? Man, I can't even change my clothes. Nope. <laughs> Nothing different at all. Do we have anything cool going on in the bathroom? Same amount of toilet paper. Nothing has changed whatsoever. Is that a cigarette? Yeah, we just leave random cigarettes for all of our prisoners in the bathroom. Courtesy and all. Anything cool over here? Uh, I think that's just the bed that's uh, being interacted with. Yeah. All right, sleepy time. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Of course, always is, isn't it? All right. Well, next time we'll uh, we'll get back into that animus and. Uh, See what uh, is to be said about our first assassination. Bye for now, everyone.